why do you care about gender equality? I think gender equality is really, really important, especially to a company like Avon. We're built on the power and the enterprise of women. You know, it's interesting because we know that women make the majority of purchasing decisions, and yet still so many consumer products companies are run by men. Why do you think that is? No, I don't know. I think that's, that's a big challenge because obviously I'm a big believer if you want to be a successful company, you have to mirror society. Mm -hmm. You have to mirror the culture, you have to mirror the values, you have to mirror the attitudes of, those, uh, of your consumers. So it's really, really important that you get as many of your consumers representative in your, in your office. And what's working? Well, many things are working, <laughs> but I have one of those sayings, I'm happy but never satisfied. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that's working, I think, uh, equal pay for equal work. And mm -hmm. I think I really fundamental belief in that. That's one of those simple things. You do the same work, you should be paid the same thing. <laughs> it seems so obvious to me. Uh, so what, that's one thing I'm really proud of and that's really working well. The second one, of course, is, is uh, you know, um, parental leave, you know, uh, to make sure that people have the benefits and the systems to have correct parental leaves, but not only for the women, also for the men. I mean, you all have been a real leader in the space as far as driving transparency by reporting yeah. this type of social data. Do you find that for companies that aren't quite there yet there's a risk or a cost associated with not being more transparent yeah no I'm a, I'm a simple guy you know if you want to improve something you got to measure it and you got to be transparent about it and you know there's going to be some good things and there's going to be some things to improve on so the first thing is always start measuring if you find something important start measuring it the second thing then as always is start sharing best practices this is working this is not working in your own company, but also amongst companies. That's why I also think this whole gender equality index that Bloomberg is doing is really, really good. And we're really proud to be part of that and to be part of that debate of saying how important it is, but also what are the learnings that we can capture from each other to really continue to drive this agenda ahead. Do you ever worry that fatigue is gonna set in, that we haven't seen as much progress as people would like, um, or that sense of urgency will fade? No, I don't think so. I think so. I, I, because one of the big the issues so big. The, the other thing is is a little bit. It's a different. You know, I think the world is full of challenges and full of opportunities, mm -hmm. and we're crazy. We're crazy not to capture all the people in the world to help either capture the opportunities or solve all the challenges that we have. In 30 years. Are we still going to be having this conversation? I hope not. But I think we just got to keep going with this conversation. So I'm optimistic. I hope uh, we'll have different conversations, <laughs> maybe better conversations. But we'll keep going till this, this issue is, uh, is uh, solved. Uh, well, we certainly will with business leaders like you. Yeah.